Hey guys, what's going on? It is Stephen W1323, and welcome back to another career mode video. We are going to be heading to the Pocono Mountains, but we are coming off of one heck of a race. We won at New Hampshire. Not only did we win, I believe we uh, dominated. Qualified on pole, had a great race won it couldn't have had a better race if i predicted it but we got to go check out the standings and we also need to go look at the team management because we have some new additions and some new builds we need to start doing so let's go look at the standings real quick no what you're looking at is not photoshop that is correct we are in second place right now 159 points behind kevin harvick who's had a stellar career, stellar season this year he's won two races 10 top 10s and 16 or yeah 10 top fives and 16 top 10s he also all of the 19 starts we have had that's so crazy average start of 11.8 and 11 average finish of 6.4 ourself with our fourth win of our season and sixth of the uh, career have nine top five and 12 top tens with 19 starts our average finish is good it's the average start we got to work on and that's why goodyear was happy with us to give us all that money for qualifying on pole speaking of now we got to go to the spot the shop and look at some things there looky there all of our builds are complete and i know what you're thinking why aren't you going to use them at Pocono. Now we're going to finish this last one off. And when that one is done in the next race at Michigan, we are going to sell the used chassis and we are going to see and get our money back on all the stuff. I hope that made sense. If not, I can try and explain it to you in the comments. But right now, we are already gonna look to start building another new chassis for 2.9k and look at all that we're gonna get durability of 79 74 tire wear and tire grip nine races let's go build that let's see what about the engine now the engine 229 72 82 and 68 and 80 holy moly Build it nine races. We'll see you in mathematically. I think it's going to come out the same. And let's do, pardon me, and let's do the same thing on a body. Let us get us, let us, let us. Well, two, it's the lads. But seriously, now let's build that nine races. That's going to work out perfectly now let's see how much money we have left over it's so crazy to look at that and say that we still have 3.1 million dollars in the bank and also we still have our shop edition we're waiting on that is only four races away from giving us 10 plus efficiency remember we or if you're new we are going for cheap and try to save the money so when i need the next ones the engines and it builds up the shop then will I want to spend that money quickly. All the sponsors are happy for the most part. I mean, they're not like happy, happy, but besides Kmart, they're 76 happy. So that's good. But they've been with us since day one, and it makes me happy to have them on the car. When I tell you it killed me to not select the new stuff, it hurt really, really bad, but we still are going in with a 70 overall car rating. So when we go to Michigan, I can't wait to see what that car is going to be. Well, I did a recommended thing a buddy of mine told me when I was here the last time was to change the gear ratio. And, um, well, I listened to him. I did, and I was running unbelievable laps. So thank you, uh, Nico Darius. Nico Darius, I know you corrected me many of times, but I'm gonna keep saying it both ways until I get it really. 
Echo Darius. So I'll we'll say that was. Oop, but we got to make sure. That's the one thing about this one. I got to make sure I don't over rev the engine because I don't want to blow the engine. But this car, this, like, this thing is fast. I just got to keep paying attention to where, which zones I got to hit and where I don't want to blow the motor at that point because. Like I said, this car is really fast. But I figured out a trick already. Here we're coming down the line. 17th already. Whoa, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, coming down to the line. I know I can't give all the speed. Ooh. Might have messed that turn up a lot a bit. But I made this car more of an accelerating car than more of a top speed car, but it's still got more top speed than uh, uh, um, anything else. But I'm also gonna probably get, change the gear ratio before we go into the race. Yeah, I just, I don't know how I feel on it because I'm going down that front stretch. I wanna have all the top speed in the world that I can get. But real quick, I really wanna make sure we qualify on, uh, qualify in 10th. Let's see, we're off the final turn here in Pocono, we get. Six. Let's go, guys. Welcome to Pocono Raceway, located in the heart of the beautiful Pocono Mountains for today's Pennsylvania 500 on MRN. This track produces some of the fastest racing of the year, but it also presents some special challenges to the drivers. Unique is definitely the word for this racetrack. First of all, there are only three corners, each of which has completely different banking, which also means there are three straightaways. And guess what? They're all different links. This is one tough racetrack to prepare a race car for. How about the consistency shown by the MBNA car? Oh yeah, to have an average finish in the top 10 for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. Dale Jarrett was part of one of the tightest point battles in NASCAR history in 1997. He ended up finishing second to Jeff Gordon. And he didn't finish second by much, only 14 points. And Mark Martin wasn't too far behind either. Those last couple of races in a season are pretty exciting when a championship is on the line. Kyle Petty hasn't run well in his qualifying attempts at the speedways this year. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. And that's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you. Well, I can't believe we're starting up here, but we really are. Green flag is out. I have a great... I listened to Neko Darius, left a bit of gear. It's the only thing is apparently it has no acceleration off the start. And here we are already. But as long as I can just gear go go get the lanes and go where i need to go we'll be okay robbie gordon is getting mad he's mad at me again he might throw a helmet Ooh, i didn't hit him in that turn yeah i know i'm in the high line oop sorry dale uh oh harvick's right over there too sorry ooh, 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 ooh. i always forget about turn three sometimes there's kevin harvick Fuck. Apparently Dale Jarrett's a rival too. A little bit. Doesn't like us. Here we go. Look at that. 206, 07. We haven't even hit the rev limiter. 209. The only thing I wish I did is not make this car so tight. This car as tight as can be. I don't like that. Ryan Newman, not Ryan Newman. Uh, what's his name? Uh, blah, 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 Ricky Craven. Ricky Craven. Ricky Ru Rick Kevin Harvick, for heaven's sake, Steven, are you okay? Kevin Harvick is so close to us, but yet at the same time, we got two of our sponsor. Somebody fucking hit it. We got two of our sponsorship goals already down. We're racing well. We're in front of Harvick at the moment, so. 
in reality, we will gain some points on them. This car's got some amazing top end speed, and it's capable of catching everybody, especially if I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Oh, we got the run off the corner on Mikey Waltrip. We got Mark Martin in front of us. My favorite driver doesn't like me at the moment. I don't blame him. I think we did something to each other at a race last race or a couple races ago. But man, changing this gear ratio, Nico Darius, thank you, my friend. I will have you mentioned in your stuff all in the... Uh, all in the, 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 the description down below. Sorry, I'm concentrating on uh, getting up here. There's our other MBNA car, Bobby Labunti. Hey, it's on. Oh, oops, sorry, Bobby. That was my fault. Oops, sorry again. That one was your fault. You shouldn't have checked up there like you did, but you did. Ooh, don't hit Mark, don't hit Mark, don't hit Mark, don't hit Mark. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And this car's so good that it gets to run off the turn. Off the turn. Turn? Turn. I don't know. Here we are. Am I, am I okay medically? Probably not. But we'll be okay. Just kidding. I'm great. Here we are. Who blew up? Oh my goodness. Championship implications. That could cause a huge wreck, too. Oh, goodness. This could be interesting. Now it's just me and Mark. And I'm not even going to lie to you. I'd let him win this race in a heartbeat. He never got to win here. He deserved to win here. He had one of the best cars to win here. So let's let him lead a lap or two. Let me get a five bonus point. And uh, see what happens from here. Oh, God. This car is so good, though. Oh man, we might have to encounter Jeff Gordon or uh, Tony Stewart again. Yeah, definitely got to loosen this car up just a wee bit. Other than that, this car is fast as can be. I don't think we're going to have to contend with uh, Tony Stewart now that I say that. Which thinks I thought that could have made things interesting. Still made things interesting when he blew up right in front of us. Yeah, I don't see anything going to happen here because I think he's going to be near the pit road by the time we come to him. Oop. Pay attention to the race, Steven. We need to catch back up to Mark Martin. Yep, he's in pit road, so. I might be champion. Is that championship implications? It might be for a little bit. I think, and um, I also would say this. I've been to this track before. This is the only NASCAR race I've been to. It was the Pocono, the Pennsylvania 500 at uh, Pocono. Ryan Newman won the race. It was fun. Last NASCAR race I've been to. I need to go to another one. I've never been to a one at MIS. My home state track. I really need to get out more and have friends. <laughs> Car's getting too tight. I need to loosen her up. And I also need to just chill out a little bit. Let the car come to me. Don't overdrive it. Like I said, it's still lose to this guy because he's the legend. He should win here. But cars are pitting. So that's interesting. We'll see what Mark Martin does. He pits. I'm going to stay. I'll lead a lap. So at least I could say I got five bonus points. That looks like he's staying out for a little while longer. He is 1.6 seconds ahead. Let's see if we can start running that gap down just a little bit. Holy lap traffic, Batman. We're going to hang out and draft with Stanton Barrett, save some fuel. Uh, hopefully just uh, keep up with him and see what the hell happens. 
We are gaining on Mar Martin, too, and yes, you are seeing that correctly. Me and Stan Baird are hanging out together. Maybe we'll go to Kmart and get uh, Goodyear tires. A Goodyear blimp. I don't know. What is your sponsor, Stan Barrett? I don't know. I can't even tell. All I know is we're drafting with him and he's becoming a buddy of mine. Thank you, Stan. Oh, David Green is holding up Mark Martin. Uh-oh. The moving chicanes. I can't believe I'm outrunning these guys with all their rubber. Halfway. Kevin Harvick is in fourth. Ooh, I messed that turn up. We hit the wall. Stanton. Don't leave me, Stanton. Barrett. Stanton. We just hit the flow fuel mark right as uh, we speak. Oh, Mark Martin and Stanton Barrett just got into it. Our tire is very worn. I think Mark Martin is actually trying to pit, but he did not. Interesting. We caught Mark Martin. This could also be interesting, though, going into this turn. So my car doesn't want to turn. I just want to throw it a little looser. I can't believe we're running up in second. By the way, let me just throw that one out there for you. With Mark Martin. I think he's actually in the points. Like top 10. Is he not pitting still? Wow, that's crazy. Alright, well. The six car, the We're about to take the lead. This could be an interesting entry. entry. Be careful. Oh, not again, Mark. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Alright, I think I'm going to pit this lap. Four tires fuel. Just... Make another rail, rev, rival, rival. Like Sorry, oh, dyslexia. Still you. Make another rival. We got the lead over Mark Martin, by the way. Even if he's my ally, rival. Whoop, he hit me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with him. Just gonna pit. We got some cars down pit road. You're clear. Oh come on! Beat him in! Beat him in! Beat him in! Beat him in! We beat him in. Yes, uh, yes, cars, other than that, perfect. We just let a lap, let's go. I saw the 56 pop up on the first place thing. You know, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I think we have a good car. Hopefully the crew can help us just a little bit, give us a good pit stop. I don't think I got the car to get up there. My car is really good by itself or in the draft, but I prefer to be by myself. Looks like Crew's gonna give us a beautiful four tire. Beautiful two tire spot. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And we're still behind them. A lot of other people, aren't we? Yep. Unless they just didn't pit yet, but I doubt it. Alright, so let's get back out there. Alright, so um, I don't know why we're so far back here, but we are. Either way, at least let's shoot for a top 10 finish. Or hope that all these guys just in front of us haven't pitted and we just had slow stops, me and Mark. Well, me. I think we can actually get back up there. If we, uh, maybe if we go with uh, Bobby Labunti here for a little bit, our interstate teammate of sorts. Ooh, nice, actually, entry into the turn. Oh, JK Elemental P. Just got to get the speed into her. I don't know why I decided to do that. I got my five bonus points, but in the end, is it really going to mean anything now? Maybe cars can't pit. And those are the cars that came in first. I don't know. That's my only hope. Either way, I think we'll still kind of catch them or at least contend. 
for a top 10? I thought for a minute I had a winning car, but these might be cars who haven't pitted yet because of pitting early, pitting strategy. Who knows? We'll find out here in a little bit. But we're catching the leader, too. Five laps to go. Let's see what happens here, guys. You think we could do it? Hit it. The thumbs up and the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you. I sing randomly, too. And that all just rhymed out of the blue. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm gonna lose you. Cool, we're slowly getting up there. Kurt Busch is in front of us. I want to get in front of uh, Kevin Harvick at the most. Ke I mean, I already know we don't have to worry about uh, Tony Stewart in this race because he blew his engine. Big championship implications. Still slowly catching the leader. I just don't know if we're going to have time. Hopefully they all just pit. I somehow can get a top five out of this. That was all me. And we just broke out of the top ten. Wow, that stinks. Kevin Harvick is behind us, though. So that's good. I gotta do everything in the world I can to keep him behind me. Or get by these guys before I uh, get by... They get by him. He gets by them, whatever. Watch out, man. This is going to be an interesting move right here. That worked for the most part. I'm going to count that. For now. We'll see how turn three goes. It's going to be an interesting last uh, three laps. I didn't realize we only have three laps to go. Nice move into three. Man, that stinks. I don't know how these cars got in front of us. I thought we had a winning car. Oh, well. We let a lap, like I said. Kevin Harvick's behind us. He's not getting by me. Not with championship points on the line. Oh, fuck. Never mind, he's going to get by me. Fuck. They're all going to get by me. Oh, come on, let's get by him. I think I can get by Harvick here on the last lap. Maybe some other cars that are in front of them that are going to slow them up a little bit. That's at least what I'm hoping for here. But it looks like he's just going to get by Jeff Burton like that. Hopefully I can do the same. Because any spot he gets is a spot I need to get to stay up there in points with him. I'm going to dive bomb him. No, I'm not. I'm just going to race. We're right there with each other. I think I can pass them on turn four. Turn three, I mean, because there's no turn four here at Pocono. Oh, tell me I just didn't fuck myself. Let's go. Come on. Come on. No, he's going to finish in front of me, is he? No, he's not. Ah, oh, fuck he is. Damn, top ten. Still, we hit two out of the three sponsor goals. Oh, that stinked. Single caution lap was running the whole race. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing no major wrecks. The MBNA car finished in the top 10. Of course, all these teams want to win every race, but a top 10 finish is still a great accomplishment at the racetrack. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. Well, I mean, we still made some money 75,000 in winnings. That's crazy to me. Um,. So, learn this. Uh, you definitely need to get a primary sponsor goal. And that's going to be damn near impossible, I think. So, who knows how long they're really going to be on the car with us. Let's look at the race stats. Dale Jr. came from 21st to win this race, followed by Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Ricky Rudd, Ryan Newman, Bobby Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, us and Jeff Burton. I led a lap, so I get five bonus points. Five plus eight. I get I gained one point on him because I led that lap. I think that's all I gained on him. So let's uh take a look at the rest of the order as you see scrolling down. 
we'll have some notables like the one right here, the one that blew up, the only, I believe, DNF of the race, the pole sitter, Tony Stewart, and he led five laps, so at least he got five bonus points. Yes, I'm sure you're shocked to see me in the garage. But we here are getting ready to sell our best equipment. We're not going to repair anything till the next episode, but I just want to show you the money we will be gaining. So here is the second best. Sell it. 192k. We'll go to our engine. We'll sell that. 147k. And last but not least, our body. We are going to get rid of it. We're going to sell it for 34k. So it gave us some money in the bank. Everything else we will look at in the next episode. So now, let's go take a look at the standings. Well, we're still in second place, but we are now 158 points behind Kevin Harvick as we are going on in this season. We are getting really close to the end, honestly. So this might be these five, six, six, seven people might be your championship contenders. You know, see what happened when Tony Stewart blew up? He went down 270 points. Now he's in fifth. Sixth is Junior, still in it. Seventh is Bobby Labani. Eighth is Mark Martin. Ninth is Jeff Gordon. And tenth rounds out Kurt Busch. We also did get an award. We got the fastest lap of the race, which was nice, easy, 5K. Man, after selling, doing all that stuff, we're going to go into the next episode looking to repair or even upgrade any of the uh, equipment that we're about to look at. We also are going to the Brickyard 400. I don't know how that one's going to go. That one's got me nervous. But Pocono had me nervous and we finished pretty damn good. I don't learn not to stay out that late anymore. But, you know, that's what you got to do for the potentials of next season. And I just want to say I appreciate you for joining me. You're new. You like it. Subscribe. It means a lot to me. Comment down below anything you have good advice for me going, in the br uh, going to the brickyard. And until next time, I'll see you.